Time to talk winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. Hi, Rob. Good morning, Daria. What do you have to say about the markets today? Not, well, we kind of opened a little weaker, but we're getting a little stronger as morning goes on. We're worried about earnings because AT&T and American Airlines said things aren't great. We're worried a little bit about inflation. The ECB is raising interest rates. That was unexpected, a lot like the United States is to fight inflation. Europe's going to have a much tougher recession than the United States. Jobless claims uh, show a cooling labor market, which is maybe good to help fight inflation. And mortgage demand is at a 22-year low. So if you know a realtor or a mortgage lender, um, bring them some cookies today or something along those lines, Daria, because when demand is at 22-year lows, it's kind of telling you that volume is at 22-year lows well, as well. And there's a lot of competition with other people in the industry. One of my very good friends is a realtor, actually, and I feel bad. But uh, uh, on a greater level, there are more people who are not realtors. Is this good news for people that want to buy a home? Yeah, we need uh, a couple more things to fall. You know, interest rates have moved up, making it less affordable for people. But we need some people to go into foreclosure. This mm. sounds horrible, but we need more inventory. We talked yesterday, there's only three months of inventory. Um, so to make it more of a buyer's market and push for transactions, you kind of need more inventory. I the see. home builders aren't helping out. So what's it going to be? Right. Foreclosures, maybe people downsizing, but right. not a lot of action right now. All right. I love Amazon. I'm the first to admit, you know, when I think, oh, I'll buy it on Amazon. I think not first thing I think when I think I have to go to the doctor, I'll go to Amazon. Could that be a thing? Amazon Hospital, Amazon Med yeah, it's Center. A, it, it's, it's a thing. They bought a company in 2018 called PillPack. And in the last couple of years of my mom's life, Amazon would send her her medications, you know, Monday through Sunday. And it would say, here's Monday, here's Tuesday, here's Wednesday. And then they got into the pharmacy business. This is all because Amazon is one of the largest employers in the United States, and that's expected to continue to be more of a trend. So they bought a company called One Medical for $3.9 billion. It's similar to, you can book appointments, you can have primary care. Um, it's a subscription model. They do a lot of telemedicine, but this is mostly for their employees. And as it succeeds, they're going to roll it out to people like you and me. If we shop for, you know, the better experience, maybe the healthcare being provided by Cron is, it's good, but maybe it's more affordable and maybe they can throw it into Amazon Prime and uh, you get, you know, video and music and fast delivery and your healthcare and all doctors. under one umbrella. So, so you kind of see where they're going. It's an industry that needs revolution yeah. because going to the doctors the same as it was is when you and I were little boys and little girls and sit in the waiting room, get the thermometer out, right. check out your ear. We need innovation. And if you can even find a doctor, because by the way, it's hard to get a primary care. They're like, sorry, we're full. We're not taking new yeah. patients. So maybe Amazon will level that out. I don't know. You are correct. Um, okay, what's going on with Tesla? Are they up? Are they down? Stock is up today. Uh, this is kind of an interesting time. Uh, they're doing a transition from being the only EV maker on the block to having more competition from Ford and General Motors and Chevrolet. Um, they had 42% revenue growth in the autos. That's great. There was a lot of concerns that COVID shut down Shanghai factories, that they're going to miss numbers. There's a lot of concerns on shortages, on batteries and competing with other companies. Um, so they're selling less credits, which is a way that used to make a lot of money to other automakers because the automakers are now making their own electric vehicles. So they don't need to buy Tesla's credits. Their Berlin factory hit a thousand vehicles a week. Um, I think that's a week. Um, and Austin is about to, those are big numbers come, going forward. They're superchargers. This is where Tesla still has a great advantage. 36,165 supercharging stations in the nation. That's up 34%. Ford and GM have nothing like that. Yeah. So they're still way far behind and that's super important. And what I hate is that I can't charge on the Tesla charger, darn it. It's only for Teslas. Let me let me throw a wink wink at you. I, uh, Elon, the, Elon Musk what? said that's going to change this quarter. Oh, so you're well going to start being able to use their chargers. Thank Haven't you. Haven't figured out the details, okay. but it's in the works. Yeah, because I got a VW and the, so it's not compatible. But it's like it's like kind of having the iPhone thing where nothing else plugs in, and I hate different plug things. I want them all the same. We'll meet up at Greenbrae soon and um, <laughs> charge our cars next to each other, have coffee. All right, I want to ask you this, too, because I was just yes. talking to my son who's young, and, you know, he buys stocks, and I buy stocks, and we're comparing. And I said, it's not the same when you're old, and I can see when I'm going to need them. So for somebody like me, should I be starting to buy bonds now? 
Um, I'd rather consult with you privately. <laughs> um, I own no bonds. I'm 50 plus years old. Yeah. Um, they have been losers in the last year. Stocks have been losers, which is very, very rare. Um, but longer term, yeah, California municipals would be a great way to get some income free, um, uh, income in retirement. Yeah. But you're in no rush, Daria. We have to sit down and we'll do coffee at Green Ray sooner than later. <laughs> okay. Because, yeah, you're going to want to replace your cron income right. with your portfolio income at some point in time. Or think about changing your lifestyle. Down the okay. Road. All right. Well, I'm not fancy. All right. Thank you. I'm on a budget. Thank you, Rob. I'm and not fancy either. Don't think I'm extra special. Rob will answer your question too. All you have to do. I mean, you're not on TV, but you can email him, and you can reach him on Facebook or Twitter, and he'll uh, tell you what he thinks. We'll be right back.